Okay, so we're going to make a bender to bend some hoops that are going to go over our raised beds that are going to support some floating row cover this summer. So we can add a little bit of heat and a little bit of insect protection and everything else. So this was a 24 inch piece of plywood, three quarter inch plywood. And every six inches, I just used a straight edge and then made a vertical line. And then in six inches, this measurement here on the edges is four inches up and then seven and three eighths, eight and a half in the center, seven three eighths again, and then back to four inches. And then as you'll see, I used as a batten, I just used this channel that goes between pieces of paneling that you put on the wall. And the nice thing about this when you're working by yourself is that you can drill some holes through this slot here and then use finishing nails and you can pound that batten in and sweep that arc without needing an assistant. And there are other creative things you can do. A yardstick, a nice flexible yardstick works well to sweep that arc and you can just pound little brads on each side and hold it in place if you're working by yourself or have an assistant hold it and just sweep that arc. The main thing is to get a nice smooth arc at your measurements. So what I've done is I just used finishing nails. I drilled holes in this channel and I put some finishing nails that holds this in place so I can easily sweep my arc now working by myself. So I'll just take a pencil and sweep that arc and I'll take this batten off and we'll just cut this out with the saber saw. The next thing we need to do is put a strap on the end that will support the tubing as we bend it. And I just use metal strapping and it works fine for half inch tubing. There is not a lot of force on it. So we're going to secure that just using a quarter inch carriage bolt. What we want to do but to find out where that needs to go, we just take a scrap piece of half inch tubing and we want that right on the end. And we just want to make sure that the tubing is going to fit in there. And then we'll drill our quarter inch hole and secure it with a carriage bolt. Okay, now that we have that secured, we'll take it outside and bend the pipe. So I just screwed this thing right to my trailer bed. This trailer is old enough. It's just my work surface now and I don't mind. So that holds it in place. Just a couple of wood screws right here and so what I did is I measure up two feet and I put a mark there with a marker and I start at the strap at the two foot mark now this pipe I it's been pre-bent before so it's not completely straight but we'll we'll bend this one and give you an idea so we just remember kind of like like rowing a boat as long as I don't take my trailer off its moorings push it ahead about a foot or so bend it again push it ahead bend it again push it ahead bend it some more and we're gonna get to our two foot mark on this side which I can't see right now but it's right there and when we get to there we're going to bend it till that two foot spot just touches the end of the bend. We have a hoop that'll go right in our raised beds. So I just added the one we just bent to our collection here and 
we're going to go over and install these in the raised beds and we're going to put the row cover over it once we get it planted. Well, I got, I got the hoops that I have mounted on these beds here that are the ones that are the new ones we made that we filled up here, that pile that I, I did the video on the soil sifter that we have, and then since then I built three bins up there that we're going to use to, to hold mostly our chopped leaves. But anyways, it's far too windy to put the row cover on. It is just wild windy today. So I took the rest of the tomato plants that were suffering in the hoop house, still in pots, and I stuck those in here. Tomato plants and uh, eggplant. So <laughs> quite a few of them, too close together. But I plant raised beds like I plant containers. So I'll show you in another video on how to attach the row cover, how I do it. It's kind of a slick deal, but again, it's too windy today. Oh, to put the hoops in, I measured up eight inches from the bottom, just put a mark on each, and I shoved them down to the line on the hoops, lining up with the with the uh, raised bed so that they, you know, they're pretty even. So, oh yeah, I'm missing one. I need to run to the store and get another 10-foot piece of half-inch conduit before I put the row cover on there. But I'm curious to see what happens with these tomatoes and eggplant compared with the ones that I have growing in the hoop house, which are under uh, tropical conditions right now. So until next time, Mark with Backwood Basics.